The first orbital space launch from British soil is scheduled to take off tonight, and you may be able to see it yourself. And the reason we're playing that music is because it's called the Start Me Up mission, inspired by the Rolling Stones hit. Exactly. And it's, um, it's quite complicated. It's going to see a modified Boeing 747 called Cosmic Girl uh, take off at Cornwall Airport, Newquay, while carrying the rocket sort of under its belly. Uh, it'll go up, it'll release it at about 35,000 feet over the Atlantic Ocean, uh, kind of close to the south of Ireland, and it should be visible right across the country, clear skies, and if you look into the southwest at about quarter past ten, you should see this streak moving away. Well, the head of Spaceport Cornwall, uh, sorry, Spaceport Cornwall, uh, Melissa Thorpe joins us now. Melissa, this is incredibly exciting, isn't it? Why are we all getting so worked up about this? It's not the first space launch, but it is here, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's the first ever for the UK, from UK soil, and it's joining an exclusive launch club where there's only a handful of places around the world that are doing this. So it's huge. And to do it in a place like Cornwall, you know, people don't think of Cornwall as a space, you know, faring county, but here we are, you know, almost as an underdog. And we absolutely love that story down here. And the community is just so excited. Tell us what is going to happen after 10 o'clock tonight. So at 10 o'clock, um, Cosmic Girl, which is the modified Boeing 747, will take off on the runway that's just beside me here. That will go out uh, about, it take about an hour to get out to what we call the racetrack off the south coast of Ireland. And then the rocket, Launch One, um, similar to the size of the rocket behind me, will drop midair. And that will go south uh, on a trajectory and then up into space. And um, so an hour after Cosmic Girl takes off, you should be able, if the weather plays ball, uh, to see that rocket in the night sky. So what time? What time should that be, then? If Cosmic Girl takes off at 10 o'clock, then the rocket should deploy around 11. If there's any delays, as soon as Cosmic Girl's gone, add about an hour to that, and then we'll start to see the rocket. There's a live stream that will be happening that will follow and track it, so you'll be able to keep up to date with what's going on. And from the ground, what will it look like? Will it look like a sort of a bright dot streaking across the sky? Will it have a flare behind it? What will, what will we see? Yeah, again, depending on the cloud cover, depending on what the weather's doing, depending on where you are, whether you're in the UK or Spain or Portugal and where the rocket is on its trajectory, it will be a bright light to maybe a fade once you get a little bit south of here. Um, but hopefully um, we'll be able to see a little bit of something, which is, you know, would be amazing if we could Mel see that. Melissa, just tell us how much this costs and who's paying for it? <laughs> Um, the whole project together, and that's just converting this amazing airport, Cornwall Airport, Newquay, into a spaceport. We actually haven't had to do too much to it. Um, a lot of the work has been in the paperwork, the regulations, the licensing to make it safe to launch the space for the first time. The whole thing altogether has cost just shy of 20 million pounds. Um, and that's been between public and private sector, a little bit of government funding, a little bit of um, Cornwall Council funding, as well as Virgin Orbit and private funding. But it is a commercial um, enterprise, which means we will be revenue generating in the next five years for, for Cornwall. And the rocket, once launched, will release satellites. What will the satellites do? <coughs> Excuse me. We have nine satellites on this mission and they're doing an amazing variety of different things. We have one satellite that's looking at monitoring illegal fishing. We have another satellite that's going to be looking at how we manufacture products in space instead of down here on Earth and send them up to space. We have another satellite that's doing Earth observation for environmental monitoring. We have some weather monitoring satellites as well as a military satellite that's going to be protecting our forces overseas. We have quite a few different act activities happening with all of the satellites, which is just a great example of all the things that we can do using the power of space. And very, very briefly, why is it going up on an aircraft and being dropped at about 30,000 feet? Why is it not being launched kind of Cape Canaveral style from the ground? Uh, it's just an incredible way to launch to space because what you're able to do is get the rocket partway there. So it makes it more efficient, a little bit more cost effective, but it also means that the satellites on board can get to the orbit at the time exactly that they want. And the beautiful thing about Virgin Orbit system, Cosmic Girl, is that it's mobile. So they have other spaceports planned around the world and they'll come to the customer base rather than all these satellites at the minute that are being shipped to Cape Canaveral or to SpaceX out on the West Coast as well. So at the minute, we build a large majority the world's small satellites here in the UK, but all of them get shipped overseas to launch. And with this system, you, it means we're able to respond to that demand of accessing space in a more responsive way and in a more flexible way.
Melissa Thorpe, it's fascinating talking to you. Huge good luck. The boss of Spaceport Cornwall. Let's hope uh, the weather gods shine on that launch tonight. <laughs>